So I've come up to the University of Leicester and I've brought with me a tube here containing cesium. Cesium is found in the far corner here and it is the most reactive metal in the entire periodic table, even more reactive than francium. This is a radioactive element and it decays, but actually cesium is more reactive than this. It's, it's the most reactive thing we can find. Now, why have I come up to Leicester? I brought this because I want to see how it reacts with the most reactive non-metal in the entire periodic table, and that's the element fluorine. Okay. Now, this, we don't think this has ever been shown before, uh, so we're not entirely sure how it's going to go, so I've got to go and see. Having decided that I wanted to do this crazy reaction, I needed to find just the right person to handle the flurry. And this is Professor Eric Hope here from the University of Leicester. So thank you very much for helping me out with this. Uh, what was your first reaction, by the way, when I said I want to try uh, cesium with flurry? I thought you were totally and utterly mad. Uh huh. That's probably most people's reaction. Yeah. Now, we've designed this apparatus uh, with quite a lot of thought. One of the problems here is that we want to do this at the RI. And uh, transporting, uh, transporting fluorine is a little bit tricky, is it? Certainly. It uh, reacts vigorously, as we will see with virtually any element in the periodic table. Eric's come up with this fantastic idea of just filling the coils in the apparatus, this plastic tubing that's been sensitised to fluorine, so it's not going to react with it. Basically, what we have in here is fluorine, but at the same pressure as there is in the atmosphere around it. But nothing's going to leak in, nothing's going to leak out. So even if there was a major uh, event, then the fluorine would not re be released from the apparatus. To show the extreme reactivity of fluorine, we're going to set fire to something. We all know how hard it is to start a barbecue using this stuff. This is charcoal, uh, trying to get it to burn with the oxygen from the air. It'd be easy, though, if the atmosphere contained fluorine. Is this your one or is this my no, one? No, that was yours, I think. Okay. Was it? Oh, no. Ah. ah you see? Ah. <laughs> okay, should we see the reaction then? Let's have a go. Wow. This demonstrates the extreme reactivity of fluorine gas. This was a tiny quantity of fluorine being played onto the surface of the charcoal there. And as soon as the two came into contact, there was this very violent reaction generated a lot of heat, as you saw the flames there. But charcoal isn't terribly reactive. Cesium is much more reactive. So I think we should try this reaction now then. This is my cesium. Have you seen cesium before? No. Not quite this, there's quite a lot of it, isn't there? Quite beautiful. Beautiful, yes. And so dangerous. <laughs> So this is a combination between the two most reactive elements in the periodic table. We've got fluorine, the most reactive non-metal, and cesium, the most reactive metal. That's flushing through again. Yep. Yeah, looks good. Right, are we nearly ready? I'll lower this. Yep, I'll you I'll... look after your pipes. incredibly beautiful reaction there between cesium and fluorine, this intense light. And I don't think many people have seen that before. Mm.